What's up everyone, this is John again and in this video I'll be doing the third part of the mini-series for Rustman Commerce where I'll be talking about Math 133. So for those of you who don't know, this is a math course specifically targeted to Rutland Commerce students as it has the name Calculus and Linear Algebra for Commerce. So unlike the other courses I talked about in my mini-series, this was a full year course which meant that it covered both first semester and second semester. So it was the longest one I had in my first year and the professor I had for Math 133 was Cindy Blois. So in terms of the class content, it's honestly just a lot of calculus. Uh, there's differentiation, uh, multivariable calculus, derivatives, integrals. For those of you who are doing the Ontario Diploma or who did it, there is no vectors. Because I remember there were a lot of questions as to whether you know it's similar to the grade 12 course taught in Ontario, which has both calculus and vectors. But in university, no. Calculus is the only focus for Math 133. In terms of the class size for Math 133, it really depends on the prof you have and which section you're in. Because in mine, we were around 100 students, so it wasn't as big as other courses I took, but it's quite significant. Regarding the different content that's taught in class for marks, this was a class that I had you know, the most variety because there was a lot of different material that counted towards my final mark. If you look at the grading scheme, you'll see that midterms have a lot of weight when it comes to calculating your mark, as well as the final exam, depending on the scheme you choose. But at the same time, tutorials, clicker questions, and homework are also you know, worth a significant amount uh, of your mark. So they're easy marks to get, especially the clicker questions and tutorial work, but it does make a difference when it comes to calculating your final mark. So given the grading scheme, it tends to be a course where students do well in, in first year, and that's mainly because the fundamentals of calculus have already been taught back in high school, so it's easier to transition to this university math because you already have that background knowledge that will help do well in the class. So for you to make it to second year of Rotman Commerce, the guaranteed admission requirement for Math 133 is a 67%, and like I previously said, it's very doable to, to get that mark yeah, if you put in the work and Honestly, if you recall things from high school, you know, it will spark when you when you take the course and you, you will just get used to it. So I think it's very easy to adjust to the Math 133 curriculum. You may be wondering, where does the homework mark come from when we looked at the grading scheme, that 10%? And the answer is Wiley Plus. It's the same one that RSM 100 uses, and in math, it's used mainly for the homework. So you get weekly homework assignments and you fill them out and you have a lot of attempts, usually 15, so it's easy to get 100% if, if you do it and try different methods until you get the right answer. In terms of the textbook, the textbook is also on Wiley. So by buying the Wiley edition, you'll have access to the online textbook. And I do believe you can also buy the physical version if you go to the U of T bookstore. So you can get both the Wiley access code as well as the physical math book. So it's up to you whichever one of these methods you want to do. If you're an incoming first year Rotman Commerce student and you're not sure which math to take, you don't have to do Math 133. There's a lot of people who take 135 and 136 in their first year, or even 137. It depends on you know, how much math you want to do, and also if you want to minor in something in the future, usually CS or statistics, you might be better off taking a more advanced math course. So it's up to you to look at the curriculum, check the syllabus, and see which one suits your academic goals the best. In terms of study tips for this class, it's honestly not too hard, like the midterms and the exam. However, it requires you to stay on top of all the stuff you do throughout the year and make sure you know every concept very well. I think the best advice I can give you is to go to tutorials, make sure you fully understand the work, because what they give you in tutorials is honestly harder than what comes up in the midterms. So if you're familiar with that and you go through all of the reflection questions and you do the Wiley homework, you're, you're more than set to do well in the final. Plus, there's a lot of office hours you can go to and the Math Learning Center. So there's a lot of resources that U of T provides to make sure you do well in Math 133. So that's about it that I have to say about Math 133. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, like the others in the mini-series. If there's anything you, know, you want to address specifically and you'd like me to answer, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, if not, I hope you enjoyed the video, you found it useful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!